Hey guys, I'm giving away copies of this game. Wanna win one? Drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below. I will pick winners and announce them in my videos to come. So good luck everybody. So I've already made a unit and resource farm for folks who are still doing a campaign and today I bring you one for the multiplayer side of the game. And wow people, I don't think it gets much better than this. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you enjoy your stay here and would like to show your support you can by hitting that like button. And if you're new and want to see more, make sure you subscribe. So today people, I bring you this amazing farm where you will see yourself getting hundreds of units used to purchase those in-game cosmetics within minutes, upgrade modules, gear which will help you through your power levels and just about every other resource you need. And to do this it's seriously quick as I found a mission with a planned out route where you can get 8 chests or 8 sets of loot in literally 5 minutes well 7 chests and a high value target enemy you will also see yourself get a ton of legendaries from here too which like I said will help you with your power level increase ok so to get this mission you need to unlock it via getting yourself a vault resource now vault resources can be found within shield caches which are basically within each destination. You are notified of these shield caches via a radar ping on your map. Follow that radar until you hit that point of zero meters obviously and you will find the shield caches. But the fastest way to get one and the best cache in my opinion to farm to get these vault resources is the one upon the Pacific Northwest. And the quickest way to get here is to load into any Stark Realities mission because your spawn point is right next to the shield cache. Now it can load into any other mission here within the Pacific Northwest but the Stark Realities missions like I said spawn you in right next to where you need to go. So anyway within this destination locate the cache and as you can see I'm doing it on screen right now I'm just flying around the map. If you spawn into start reality's mission you just follow the path left any other place though you may have to make your way over here via a different route but yeah follow where i'm going on screen now Once you get here, open that bad boy up and travel inside and open those chests. These chests have a high chance of giving you a vault resource. Now once you have one, you're good to go. If you don't get one first try, simply just reload this mission and go back here. But yeah, once you get one, just back out of the mission and hopefully you get the vault mission to farm these chests. So the vault you need is the forest vault which is also located upon Pacific Northwest. This is the mission in which you can farm those chests and get that loot real easy. So if you don't have this one pop up, I think you can have two or three vaults on your map at the same time. I can't confirm that though. So you can either try and get another vault resource via the same farm I just mentioned or you could just complete the vault you did unlock and go back and get another vault resource. It's up to you. It's definitely worth doing this for people because it's so easy and so quick in getting those chests within that forest vault. So once you have the forest vault, just follow the route I showcased to you on screen now and it's pretty straightforward. Once you have all 8 loot drops, simply quit out and reload the forest vault and farm this for as long as you please. And when you get bored you can just complete the vault if you want and get that high level loot too. A few things to remember doing this though, sometimes the puzzles to open up the doors to get those chests can change. They rotate between three things, standing on pads, punching buttons or shooting certain targets. All are straightforward and very easy to do. You can also change the difficulty of these vaults before going into them to get higher resources in terms of loot drops. But I will warn you, the enemies don't miss and take you out pretty quickly. And lastly guys, it's definitely fastest doing this on 4 or Iron Man but it ain't much slower on any other Avenger. Now I'm certainly aware that the other vaults do have as many chests within them. 
It's just in my opinion, the first vault is by far the easiest to locate them all for sure. And following this route will take you no more than 5 or 6 minutes, I'm certain of that. So yeah guys, this is for those end game players looking for resources including units, upgrade modules, gear and much much more. This is perfect for that. And on that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Avengers, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one. chest with gear nearby. Look for a chest containing special resources nearby. <clears throat> There is an elite aim unit near you. Defeat them and you may gain something useful. <laughs> 